firefighting equipment must be inspected every day and each part cleaned and polished, always ready to go just the minute the fire alarm comes in. Whenever they have time, firemen practice what they might have to do in fighting a fire. The area ladder is built to reach high places on tall buildings. See the three ladders, one placed inside the other? They can be extended and turned with the help of a few levers. But firemen use hand ladders too. Sometimes there's no room for the huge ladder truck. Then hand ladders must be used. Here comes Tom. He's carrying a hose roller on his back. His partner carries the rope. Down goes the rope. And up goes the nozzle. The hose roller, Tom, to pull up the heavy hose. Here's another way to get them and carry it with the help of hose straps. These firemen practice saving a man's life. One of them makes believe that he is overcome by smoke. Captain Drake shows them how to give oxygen to a smoke victim. The machine forces oxygen into the lungs and pulls out the bad air. Other firemen practice life saving with a life net. Firemen often sail fire. What's this? It looks like a fire. Will anyone see it? A watchful policeman notices the smoke. Quickly, he calls in the alarm over the police radio. Alarm, third and main. Alarm, alarm, third and main. Real work for the firemen now. On to the engines, on to the trucks. Tom's rushing up to his tillerman seat. He gives a signal to the engineer, which means... And already, the doors are opening. The chief's car is out and away first. And the two engine companies follow. Our big area ladder truck is last. 90 seconds after the alarm, and they're on their way. traffic stops. The siren shrieks, clear the way, here come the firefighters. They must hurry. Fire doesn't wait. That's why fire engines may go through red lights on their way to a fire. But firemen always drive very carefully. Tom's keeping a firm hand on the tiller. Round the corner goes the big aerial ladder truck. round another corner again. One minute after leaving the firehouse, and just two and a half minutes after the alarm was turned in, the firemen are at the fire. Hand letters up to the second floor. First engine company, move up. Carry up that hose, boys. Second engine company, pull up closer. Okay. Take the ladder truck to the rear of the house. Okay. Connect the hose to the water hydrant. Open up. Water rushes into the pumpers. The engineer puts the pumps in operation. Gradually opens the... The 
hoses swell as the water rushes through them. And already the spray is cooling the flame. But the fire is spreading to the roof. Little Judy and her parents are very worried. Will the firemen save their home? Marshal Dorbin orders the aerial ladder up. Carefully, the engineer lowers the heavy ladder so it doesn't crush the roof. Up goes Tom, just as he did at fire drill. Step up the pressure. More water in through the windows. More pressure. More water up to the roof. Tom's opening a hole in the roof to release smoke and heat from the attic. Smoke's rushing up through the hole. Tom cuts another hole to let more heat out. Now the engine pumps with full force. Firemen with smoke masks go inside to see if all the fire has been put out. The fire seems to be dying down. Firefighter Tom and Captain Drake are happy that they could save Judy's house and her kitten. The fireman's job is done. Down goes the area ladder. Wet hoses are rolled up and go back to the truck, each in its proper place. Now, Judy can better understand why firemen are so important. The firemen have done a good job, and now they have to go back to the fire station. On their way back, they follow traffic rules of their town like other cars. No sirens needed now, only a fire bell. And soon they are back at the firehouse, ready to rush out again to protect their community from fires. <laughs>